Hey everyone, and we're here at Windows Report, and in this video I will show you what to do if the second monitor is not detected on Windows 10. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update your display driver. To do this right click the Windows button in the lower left corner, then simply select Device Manager from the context menu. In the Device Manager window make sure to expand display adapters by double clicking on it and afterwards right click the problematic device and select the update driver option. In here click on search automatically for drivers and then wait until Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. Other than that, you can also update your drivers automatically, and it includes using the program called DriverFix. So DriverFix is a very easy to use platform which will scan automatically on your PC for missing drivers, and then you can update all of them all at once. You can also choose to update the drivers manually by checking the box individually to each section. Otherwise, if you want to select all of them, you have to upgrade to a pro version. But it's up to you if you want to use the free version, which includes updating them manually or updating them all at once, but you have to upgrade to the pro version. Other than that, driver fix is super simple and moves very fast, so make sure to check it out in the description below as I posted a download link. Another useful solution is to roll back to an older driver. To do this, right click the Windows button in the lower left corner, then select Device Manager from the context menu. Now in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand display adapters by double clicking on it, then right click the problematic device and select the Properties option. In here, just go to the Driver tab and then select the Roll Back Driver option. This in case the device fails after updating the driver, just roll back to the previously installed driver. Afterwards, press on OK, restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. You can also uninstall your driver and use the default one. To do this, make sure to right-click the Windows button in the lower left corner, then select Device Manager from the context menu. Again, expand display adapters, then right-click on the problematic device and select the Uninstall Device option. In here, make sure to tick the box next to delete the driver software for this device and then press on the Uninstall button. The last thing you have to do is restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. Usually Windows will reinstall automatically the best driver for your device. Another useful solution is to install the latest Windows update. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type update and then select the check for updates option from the search results. Now in here, make sure to click on the check for updates button and Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your device. After finding them, usually they will be installed automatically and the last thing you have to do is restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. Another great solution is to use the Windows key plus P shortcut. So if you press the Windows key plus P shortcut, you'll have a menu opening up on the right side of your screen. This is the project menu. From here on you can select from four different options. PC screen only, duplicate, extend and second screen only. So make sure to fiddle with all of these options until you'll make the second monitor work out. Sometimes this problem can occur simply because you didn't use the correct project mode. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.